Hi, I'm Ed Sobe for Kids Invent. Last week, we had students build anemometers and make their estimates of wind speed. This week, we want them to measure one of the real fundamental parameters of forecasting and for weather, and that is humidity. The amount of moisture in the air controls not only how much clouds there are, but also the vertical movement of the air in the atmosphere. And the vertical movement of air in the atmosphere controls the weather systems that we have. So knowing humidity is a very important factor in making weather forecasts. And also for uh, being able to figure out how comfortable you will be, whether you're sweltering in high humidity or the air is very dry and you're parched. So we measure humidity by using two thermometers. So each team of students will get two thermometers. They can tape them together. There's a hole at one end and they can put some string in so they can fling it or sling it. This is a sling psychrometer. And why we have two thermometers, one will be a dry bulb, the other one will have a wet bulb. And the wet bulb is maintained by soaking a cotton ball in water and wrapping it around the a bulb of the thermometer and keeping it there with a rubber band. So this will always be wet and as the students sling this around in a circle, some of the moisture in that cotton ball will evaporate. It will continue to evaporate until the air around it is completely saturated. So what we find is the temperature at which that saturation occurs. If there is 100% humidity already, then we won't have any evaporation, so we won't have any cooling, and the two thermometers will read the same. If the air is completely dry, then this wet bulb thermometer will show a big decrease in temperature because much of the moisture in the cotton ball has evaporated, cooling the thermometer. By looking at the table that we provide, students can see what the relative humidity is, how much moisture we have been able to pump into the atmosphere until the atmosphere cannot accept any more. So they have the two thermometers, they have the uh, table in their notes and what they need to do is sling it around and see if the wet bulb temperature has dropped. If it has, sling it again and again and keep checking. When it no longer drops, then they have lowered that temperature as much as it's going to drop and that is the temperature that reflects the maximum evaporation of water. So at that point, they can stop, they've recorded each of these, they can stop and go to the table and measure the humidity. And we hope that they will then look in the newspaper and maybe pay attention when they're watching the TV news and listen to the relative humidity reports. Here in Central Valley, it's usually pretty low. But if they travel to other parts of the country, they might see it very, very high. So we hope we can get them to understand what humidity is by making a sling psychrometer. Have, have a good fling.